from the splendid placid place, trails trail off every which way. These look like they're ascending a small moraine-ish thing. Here's a back pond in the Bueller Ponds system. Interesting old concrete work, probably for flood retention, diversion. And then the main pond thus far, which is completely charming quiet. There's the remainder of an old numbered interpretive post. Wouldn't know what it would be saying. And off in the distance is the Bay Circuit Trail disguised as the Narrow Gauge Rail Trail. sort of circling the pond just to get a sense of it. Looks like it was enhanced over time. And this little shadow dappled tract. And lo and behold, we're coming upon the chair. glimpsed it from the opposite side of this little kettle hole of a thing. I was curious as to its provenance. <laughs> kind of a cheap plastic thing. Nonetheless, it performs a function. Oh, there's a bobber. Someone must be fishing. Old style red and white bobber. And posts for something or other. Trails heading off this way. Looks like the pond was hemmed in by Port stuff. And this even might have been a small place to launch a little boat or get down for fishing. All in all, this looks like a perfectly outstanding tract to spend some time if you should find your way out here. I'm going to follow the pond way back towards the rail bed. And there's a couple of other places like this we'll run into as we head down toward Bedford Center. And this way leads to the narrow gauge Railway.
number of these interpretive markers. This would be number 11. I remember seeing a few maps in other places that were coded to them. Lots of chickadees and their various cousins in the understory. And the motorist world roars at a low ebb somewhere off behind me. school over there somewhere and here we rejoin the bay circuit under its guise as the Bedford narrow gauge rail trail. Eventually peters out this way, up in Billerica, and this is heading south to Bedford Center and beyond. <laughs> 